To start off, we're going to do our resting EKG lead placements. And for the purpose of this video, the yellow side of the sponge will be the alcohol wipe, and then the green side will be the abrasive wipe that we will use to prep our patient. So first we're going to place the V1 lead, which will be located at the fourth intercostal space to the right of the sternum. So we're going to go ahead and palpate that. And then we're going to clean it with the alcohol and then rub away the dead skin cells with the abrasive wipe and we'll place our lead. And then V2 will be placed in the same spot but on the left side of the sternum. So palpate. Clean with the alcohol wipe and then use the abrasive pad. Next, we're going to place V4, excuse me, yes, V4, which is at the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. So we're going to palpate again. And we're just going to place that over the garment even though it would technically be under but for the purposes of visualization we're going to place it here so we'll just wipe that with the alcohol wipe and then the abrasive pad next we're going to place v3 which is directly between leads v2 and v4 so that would be right around here we're going to clean with the alcohol wipe and then the abrasive pad. Next, we're gonna place V5, which is level with V4 at the left anterior axillary line. So we're gonna palpate, we're gonna place it here, use the alcohol wipe, and then the abrasive pad. we're going to place V6, which is level with V5 at the mid axillary line or directly under the midpoint of the armpit. So it would be over here. Use the alcohol wipe and then the abrasive pad. Next we have our right and left arm leads. The right arm lead is right above the wrist. Again, we're going to use the alcohol pad and then the abrasive pad. And then place the lead. And then we're going to do the same for the left arm. Use the alcohol pad and the abrasive pad. Then we're going to place the right and left leg leads. And those will be right above the ankle. We're going to do the same thing. Use the alcohol pad, then the abrasive pad. Same for the left. The alcohol pad, and then the abrasive pad. And normally the patient will not have socks on and probably shorter pants. For the exercising EKG, the V6 leads will remain in the same place. And then for the arms, those will move to be right below the clavicle. So for the left arm, it'll be below the left clavicle. So again, use the alcohol wipe and then the abrasive pad, and you can feel that clavicle. For the right arm, you're going to do the same thing, but on the right side. Use the alcohol wipe, and then the abrasive pad. And for the leg leads, we're going to place those in the upper quadrant of the abdomen.
so it can palpate the um, iliac crest and then the bottom of the ribs and we would put it in between those two spaces. So for the left side, this would be the left leg knee. Oops, alcohol, then a brace pad. You can place that. And you would do the same on the other side. Alcohol wipe and the brace pad. And then we would go through and we would attach our wires. And we'll start off by doing the arms. And then the legs. Then we will continue with the chest leaves. And the same would be done with the resting EKG. And then once all the wires are connected, they'll be gathered together and connected to the EKG machine. And the reason that we place the leads in different places on the body for resting and exercise is that when one exercises, the placement can uh, alter the uh, visual of the EKG. And different studies show different reasons as to why. Uh, one article that I found said that the placement of the limb electrodes onto the torso may distort the electrocardiograph and it could distort different parts of the wave such as the QRS axis and the R wave and the amplitude of those things and so we moved the leads so that we can get a better picture.